Hi everyone, welcome to a new Jurassic World Epic Attack review on Jurassic Collectibles. As you can see, we have got the epic slash, or the slash attacking even, Spinosaurus from Jurassic World. This has got the epic attack logo just there. This is a glorious looking uh, new version of the Spino, a kind of darkish purple and grey. Looks really, really cool. You can see this nice version of the Jurassic World logo all weathered and faded and damaged. And this is an awesome looking figure. And if we look just up there, you can see three levels of intensifying damage. We've got lights and sounds in this figure. Uh, so this is pretty much everything you could want and more from a dinosaur toy. Twisting it around to take a look at the back, you can see we get this glorious red paint treatment. We get the Baryonyx, the Pyroraptor and the latest Hurrarosaurus just down there. We do get a look at the Spino just there. You've got the three different uh, levels of damage that you can unfold on this figure and all in all this is looking awesome you can see on the side just there the Jurassic World logo we've got this lovely red trim throughout the packaging and <laughs> with all of that said I am ready to get this one out so this is one that has the opening sort of hatch on the bottom so we can get our finger in just there and this I assume is for the feet yeah so the feet are locked into place so we do need to just take these tabs out just there. There's another one just there, which we need to pull out. And with those done, that figure is pretty much just now sort of held in place by its plastic strings. So we will cut them. Get ourselves in there. And there we have it. So that is the Spino unboxed. We will just take a quick look at the packaging with the figure out. You can see that really gorgeous kind of swampy backdrop. I really, really love the backdrop for this one. It's clear a lot of care went into the packaging for this figure. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Really awesome packaging for the Spino. And bringing the Spino in here, you can see a closer look at the figure itself. How cool does that look? So this is kind of, there we go, our default Spino. You can see if I bring the head a bit closer, you've got the really nice detail for the eye. The teeth that are actually separate on this Spino, so they're a really nice kind of rubbery material, which looks great. You have this kind of rubbery mouth and this is probably the best head sculpt we have seen on a Spinosaurus to date, I would say. You can see that looks absolutely fantastic. We then have got the arms. Now the arms are part of the play feature, so you, they can go forward all the way, but if you bring them forward further, you can see they make the figure roar. So if we do that one more time, so that is quite a cool play feature to have packed in. Uh, I do like that. You can see the purple colour sort of fades into the skin and the, the rest of the body of the animal. You've got purple for the arms, purple patterning on the neck, obviously the top jaw. You have like a scar underneath the eye on the top jaw, which is really cool. And then it kind of fades into this grey mottled body. We do have a button there, we'll come back to it. One detail to note, like on the other Spinos, we do get painted toe claws, which is very nice. And a lot of this is the Spino sculpt you're familiar with. So these legs feel like the Legacy Collection legs. They look fantastic. They've got the usual amount of detail packed in. Overall, this is a wonderful, wonderful looking rendition of a Spinosaurus. You can see that there. It just looks fantastic. This is a really great new colour scheme that feels distinctive from what we've seen beforehand. We do have the tail on the ball joint, as you can see just there, and we do have a little tail swivel at the end. You've got the swivels at the ankle joint, swivel and in and out at the legs, and then as you saw, some play features. 
So let's get on to those play features. Before we go straight into them, I will just show you down here. We do have the Dino Fax app just there. And then, yeah, some play features. So what we can do is press just here. And as you can see, there is a light up battle damage area there. If I bring that in closer and do it again. As you can see just there which is quite cool. Uh, the head we can't really articulate because obviously it's part of the play feature. But then the other main play feature is here. So there's a little notch just there in the sail. And when we press that, you can see we can see inside. So there's bits of bone going up through bits of blood and sort of gristle. And it's a really cool piece of dino damage. If I angle the legs of the animal back a bit so I can bring it closer to show you, you can see if I do it again by pressing here. You kind of get it lighting up, which is really cool. So again, It just looks really cool. This is a really cool uh, evolution on a play feature, I suppose, because the previous battle damage Spino we saw, you obviously had um, sort of some blood that could swirl around inside it. And I don't think it looked great displayed in the battle damage configuration. But this, I think if you have a Rex stumbling away and this animal looking like something's just taken a big bite out of it there or torn it, it works really, really well. The button is easy to press, as you see. It, it's pretty simple to get to that and press it. And the kind of light effects you get as a result of that are really, really cool. Um, so I think overall... This might be one of my favourite Spinos to date. As you can see, it's hard to get the actual sort of cover for the battle damage up and in place. So you do just have to be careful with that. But once you have it in place, you have a really, really cool figure. A really wonderful version of the Spinosaurus. So guys, that is my thoughts on Mattel's latest Epic Attack uh, Spinosaurus figure. I want to say it's Epic Attack, yep it is. Uh, a really cool figure all in all, I really like the colour scheme in this one, I think that the dino damage feature is really cool, um, and I think this is quite a unique rendition of the Spinosaurus, it doesn't really feel like anything that has come beforehand, I actually think the crests on the head are quite unique on this one, um, and I just think all in all this is a welcome version of the Spino. So do let me know what you think of the newest Spino figure down below, make sure to like, favourite and subscribe, and until the next video, take care and have a great week.